Okay, so the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to uh, create a, a quick report, but then what we want to do is we want to put a button to activate this report on our landing page or our reports landing page. And in this way, when we create our final uh, project, the end user will just have to look at the button, click the button, put in the dates, and the report will show up. So let's get in and do that. Now, we're going to use the expense summary we had just created right here. Um, the, but this, to create this button, it requires two steps. First, we've got to create the report, and then we're going to create the actual button itself. So again, everything's closed up. There's nothing opened up on my screen. We go over to queries, and we're going to select the, um, the query that we had just created, expense summary. We're just going to highlight it. We're not going to open it. And then from the create tab, up here, we're going to go over to reports, and we're going to select report wizard. And because you know we've highlighted this, this this query will show up automatically. You, know, you can of course choose from anything you want, but it's our expense summary query that we want to create the report for. We want all three of these items to show up on the report, so we'll click on the double arrows, and then select next. Everything is here. We'll select next. We'll leave this blank and select next. Now, I'm going to leave it under tabular, but I do want to have a landscape orientation. I prefer this on my reports. It just allows us to um, fit things in a little better. Now, this particular report's only got three columns, so it's a, really a non-issue. But when you have a report with a number of columns in it, it gives you a little bit more flexibility in terms of how you're going to space it out. So select next. And now we just want to give a title for this. So we'll just call this expense summary report. Okay. And once we select finish, that report will appear down here in our report section. So select finish. Now you can see it's again, it's asking us to enter in the start and end date. So we'll do that. End date. Okay, and there's our expense summary report. So I'm going to save and close it. And now before I go any further and we add the button, I do want to format it to be the same colors and things as our other reports. Um, this way it keeps everything consistent. So for, you know, for example, with all our forms, our customer form, um, I still have to do that actually, our accounts payable vendor form, you know, I've got two shades of blue, I've got white font, I have that on the voucher form, same color format, uh, and of course our invoice form. I like to keep the colors consistent throughout the program. You can choose any colors you like. So I'm going to want to go and open up this expense summary report and just format the colors in that first. So I'll put in my start and end dates. Okay, now to do this, we'll just flip this over to Design View. And then once in Design View, I'm going to select the Format button at the top. And I'm going to choose my banner color just by clicking on it. And here's my little fill color panel here. And I'm going to choose the blue. And then I want to color my font. My font color was white. And I'm going to save it, close it, and then reopen it just to check it. Okay, so I'm happy with that formatting. So again, the next step is we're going to create a button so that the user can just click the button and open up the report instead of looking through a long list of, a list of items. And you can see what we've got here. Again, it's, it's accomplishing exactly what we want. We've got one line item for each. We've got the month and the year, and then we've got the total by line item here. All right, so let's close that. And now what we're going to do is we're going to go to our, our reports menu or our landing page that we created. And we've got uh, payroll report button here. We've got our product sales and margin report button here. And now we're going to add a third button 
to allow the user to pull up this expense summary. So to do this, we want to flip this report over to Design View. And from the Form Design option at the top, we can see we have a list of our controls on this box here. And starting from left to right, we want to go to the fourth one over from the left. Okay, this rectangular uh, shape here. And you'll see just below there, it says Button. So we'll double click that. And now, <clears throat> now we can size this a little bit later, but we're going to just draw a button on a report. And once we do that now, the command button wizard appears on our screen. Now we've got two columns here. We've got one column called categories and the other one called actions. So the category that we want is report operations, right? Because we've just created the report. Now what action do we want to do? We want to mail it, open it, preview it, print it, you know, send the report to a file. Well, in this case, what we want to do is we want to actually open the report so we want so that the user can uh, view what is on there. So we'll select next. Now we've got a list of reports on here, so we want to make sure that we're selecting the report that we want to have opened, and that is the expense summary report. So we'll select next. Now, with respect to how, uh, or what rather, is going to display on the button itself, we can put in a you know, a little picture or something if you want, or the little magnifying glass. We, but what we want to do is we just want to have a label or a text on it. So we're going to call this simply Expense Summary Report. Okay. For these buttons, we want to name them so that when the user is, you know, opening up this landing page and they're, they're looking at the various buttons, they don't have to even think about what's on this. You know, if I click this button, what's it going to do? They can, you know, it's very self-explanatory. All right, so once we've named it, we will select Next. Um, <clears throat> we're going to leave the uh, name as this is in the background. So we'll just select Finish. Now we have Expense Summary Report. And I'm just going to want to format it to color the same as the, uh, the other button. So I'll select my Format tab. Select my Fill Color. And now I'm going to want to select, or highlight my font rather, and change that to white so I can see it. Okay, and then I'm just going to resize it a little bit here. I'll make everything the same size as my product sales and margin report button. And I'll do the same for my payroll report. Looks like I have a slightly different blue on there. Modify that a little bit. Okay, now I'm going to save it and close it. All right, so now let's open up our reports menu and let's select the button. Okay, and you can see we're asked to put in the start date, hit enter, and put in the end date. And a report comes up. So just like that, um, a very simple feature, a quick add-on for a button on a landing page, and now the end user, all they need to do is just put in the, the, the dates, whatever they want. Again, they can filter by month, they can filter by quarter, they can filter by year. Um, you could take it a step further if you wanted to add day in there as well, they could do that if you wanted to get down to that level of detail. And uh, we've got something here that's going to provide them very useful information for their business. Okay, so that's going to wrap up this video on, on this particular um, function within uh, Access, and uh, we'll see you on the next one.